In a game where everything and everyone is trying their best to screw you over, the cannibal planes rise above and beyond the rest in a brazen grasp to be crowned the douchiest area in Kenshi. They got no natural resources, no animals, no commerce. The cannibal planes are, it's just a dead zone on the map, unless you're fond of getting tied to a stake and eaten alive. The cannibals themselves are a savage people. They band into tribes and eat whoever steps into their territory. I hate them for two reasons. One, they share the meat and treat it as a tribal commodity. They're obviously practicing some sort of primitive communism, and this by itself is punishable by death in my book, Chief. Democracy is non-negotiable. And two, this guy's wearing some sort of KKK hat, which is not only in poor taste considering today's racial tensions, but it's also a fashion faux pas. And our Met is obviously a superior style choice here, dude. The little fucking dumbass bitch fucking jive turkey motherfucker. What really made me set my eyes on the cannibal planes was their kinky sexuality. I noticed their men are oftentimes little hunched over dudes with gamer back, but their women. Oh my God, their women are big, strong, sexy beasts with big old hands, big old strong hands. Big enough it looks like she's holding a red crayon when she's squeezing the life out of your cock. That's a society I want to live in. To be honest, I just want to conquer these people out of an insane, pure jealousy. Roaming the plains with your big, hunky GF, eating whoever you come across every night and getting a hand job from a woman whose hands look like a fucking bushel of bananas. That's a dream worth fighting for. Ugh, you see this? This is disgusting. Look at those, look at those narrow hips. This sickens me. Watch this beautiful makeover into the sexy cannibal that I want. Boom. Stance should be something that it's powerful, you know? Boom. Like that. Authoritarian. You know what's gonna happen. You know that I had to do it to him. Height seems a little bit off. There we go. Now we're talking frame. Beef that shit up. Posture. I want it confident. Belly out. Like you just ate another human. <laughs> Shoulder set. Bam. I want that shit low. Like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Neck position. Up high, baby. Like a triumphant dad after his third burger. Right before he's about to slip on his Tevas and go wash the car out in the driveway. Hands. Big. Breast size. Big. Breast height. Low. How natural, baby. That's how I like them. Swing low, sweet chariots. That's a woman. That's a. You know it's a woman when you gotta zoom out in order to get the full magnificence of her figure. Big old feet, too. Big old human chasing feet. Jesus Christ, that's fucking hot. I got five of these girls ready to eat the puny little beta males of the cannibal wasteland. We have our four beautiful cannibal women. And then. Oh dear God, who is that? Oh, those are enemies. That's an enemy. Okay, I might want to run. I also have this one guy right here, though. Uh, he's just a semen donor. But uh, I got a, I got a bowl. Like God, I got a boogie. Get, get going. Get go. Oh my God, they're chasing me down. What the fuck are these things? They're like robot boys. Our crew starts out in a small place called v Vinge, and they gotta go all the way over from Vinge here up to the cannibal plains. My girls are hungry. Right here, we have some blood raiders. They're not that great in a fight, but they're about to attack these ninja boys who look very confident in their abilities. Now there's more uh, the blood guys than the ninja boys, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the girls are gonna eat. <laughs> Looks like the ninjas won. Hey, look at me, I'm one of them. I got the armor now. Thanks to that nice little fight, I now have some armor to protect my my one titty and my tiny little head. I have a feeling I am not going to be able to whoop this guy's ass. He is by himself, and he is blocking every goddamn thing I am laying on him. Look at him. What a man. Yeah, it's rewind time. All right, you might be asking, you might be saying, hey, Sam, why didn't you just use the start? That gives you all the, the cannibal start. You, you start off in the cannibal planes. You have a whole group of people. Why didn't you do that? 
Well, I did do that. Watch this. Take a look at this. Boom, 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 boom. The cannibal hunters. The second I choose cannibal as a sub race, you get them droopy titties, dog. Hold on. Greenlander. Nice and perky. Scorchlander. Nice and perky. Cannibal scav. Looking like a couple fried eggs. Yeah, that's me. You might be wondering how I got here. Oh, god damn it. It's instant. You spawn in in the cannibal planes and they just start fucking you. I have started over for a third time. This start comes with more people and a little bit of cash. I will be using that cash to buy some mercenaries that will watch my ass all the way up to cannibal territory. I'm starting here at the border zone. I gotta make my way north. I found a, uh, a little house here in the corner owned by the Flotsam Ninjas. So I'm gonna see if I can be like friends with them and then hopefully they'll protect me from the rest of the cannibals while I get set up. We are right here at the edge of the cannibal plains. This is it boys. The first camp. The first building. These planes are gonna be ours right after we get a snack. I gotta find someone to eat. 12 seconds later. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention for two seconds. They fucking enslaved all my- Is that- My people are getting carried away! By other cannibals! And it auto-saved over my last fucking save, god damn it. This is my last guy that isn't in the clutches. You look away for one second to see what the Flotsam Ninjas are doing and, and, and it all just goes downhill. I don't think I'm gonna be able to break out of this one, boys. It's like an internment camp. Who are these guys? Cannibal hunters. But I can talk to them. Maybe I can leverage them against the other cannibals. You look like shit. This isn't off to a good start. <laughs> My friend's been captured by cannibals! All right, we should be able to help if they're still alive. 3,000 cats per day. Fuck! All right, hold on. I gotta figure out a way of getting some money real goddamn quick. All right, my only chance is to just run a bunch of crap over to this village that's apparently nearby. I see it right here, village. And I guess sell stuff to get money to then come back, get mercenaries. I'm here to make a swindle deal. Hello, gamers. Gamers? Hello? Gamers? Okay, there's not a single person in this entire village, and I've just looted everything, and all I got was some dried meat and grog. The Flotsam Ninjas, the guys that I was banking on protecting me? They're like in this little house? They all just got fucking kidnapped. All right, this is my plan, dude. Listen to this fucking plan. Listen to this. It was kind of ingenious. I was like, hey, I'll go to the outskirts of the cannibal plains. I will set up next to the Flotsam Ninjas because they're ninjas. They're, you know, w uh, katanas, rice bowls, uh, uh, poisoning rice. Well, I played Tenchu Z. I know what they're capable of. So I was like, I'll sit next to them. Every time I get attacked by cannibals, I'll walk over here and they'll whoop the cannibals asses and then I come back over here all the flotsam ninjas are fighting these cannibals and then they get their asses beaten and dragged off into I don't even know where the fuck they just got dragged off to probably over to that camp right there with the little torches going on not to mention everybody else in my crew is currently in a cage ready to be eaten for dinner I think this may be fucked before it even starts. Big busty cannibal women will rise again, don't worry. But because everybody else is locked away in cages and uh, slowly getting eaten by the cannibals, I, I think I'm just gonna have to find another way. We're gonna loot up everything we can and we're gonna make our way to a town to trade. Oh, fuck me. On my way to this village that I've been trying to get to, I uh, I got attacked by scrawny cannibals. You see them back there? They killed the other person. So now it's just... It's just this little boy. And I took everything off him. I dumped all the armor on the floor. 
in order to be the uh, in order to be fast as fuck. I gotta sell all these fucking teeth I picked up off of people. That's the one cool thing about cannibals. They got teeth. They gotta have them in order to eat people. Fifty six hundred bucks, just enough to get me some protection. Possibly go save my friends. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, found this lady. Her name's Mole, right? She's a pretty cool gal. Found her out in this little village, right? This is the headquarters of the Flotsam Ninjas. Those are those guys that were kind of watching my back. Apparently, I, I can join the Flotsam Ninjas, and then they'll be my allies. Hopefully, once they're my allies, I might be able to use them to uh, rescue my, my, can uh, my friends from the cannibal place. Find a patrol and give them this. They'll follow you right to the action. Okay, this is a real boner moment. Dude, I'm playing Game of Thrones here. I'm playing Game of Thrones. Check this out. Maul, the leader of the Flotsam Ninjas, right? Those little ninja dudes that have been helping me kick the cannibals' asses. Check this out. Boom. Went and talked to her. I convinced her I was going to go beat up High Inquisitor Seda or Valtina or the Lord Phoenix. But I already did that in a previous episode. But she gave me this piece of paper. I give this piece of paper to an uh, to a Flotsam Ninja patrol. And all of a sudden, they're like, hey, it's orders from Maul. We're going to go get the Saltina or Seda or whatever the stupid Lord Lord Phoenix guy, right? But in reality, I'm going to be leading these idiots to the cannibal camp in order to get my friends back who are in captivity. The old switcheroo. And they won't know what I've done until it's too late. I found, I found a crew of flotsam ninjas chilling at a house. Straight from the wolf den, huh? All right, lead the way. Today we take down the holy nation. Yeah, holy nation, that's what that's what we're doing, down with the phoenix. <sighs> These stupid idiots, they think we're gonna go take out the Lord Phoenix himself. We're not. <laughs> we're not at all, you idiots. We're actually gonna go right over here. She's nailed up to a cross like fucking Benny over uh, in a tiny little camp with not many people. I think we can take this one out. Oh, 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 all the cannibals are fighting these big ugly things. And I think they're getting their asses whooped. So, let's go intervene, baby. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. I came back for you. Do a simple, uh, set free. Yes! Oh, a tech hunter showed up. And everybody's fighting him. Hand, this is your chance. What kind of run speed do you have? 14 minus 3. Start dumping shit. Run. Run! I'm fucking fast as fuck. I'm fast as fuck. Look at me. I'm fast as Is there anything sexier than a woman with some long legs that's fast as hell? It's these titties, dude. They're aerodynamic. Look at those things. They're like, they're like, uh, like whale fins. How they cut through the water, they're just cutting through the air. Okay, unfortunately, in order to get out of there, I, uh, I got rid of everything except for first aid kits. <laughs> so, I may be fast, but I'm broke as fuck. I'm broke as fuck, boy. Okay, so basically, I've been killing people nonstop. And, uh, you know, not me, personally. But these, um, uh, uh, the dudes that I'm with... <laughs> These, uh, the Flotsam Ninjas, uh, I've been leading them into people. They kill them, and then I come by and steal the human teeth, which are worth 300 bucks a pop. With that money, I was able to accrue $36,000, with which I used to purchase these guys. They're cannibal hunters and hobs. I found Hobbs in the uh, in the bar, and he reminded me of, of Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs, so I said, yeah, I'm going to get that guy. I realized this hostile takeover wouldn't happen overnight. The next day, my daughter got sick and had to stay home from daycare, so I played the role of Mr. Mom during this time that I was supposed to be a loving, caring, supportive father for my sick daughter. I instead used it to cultivate a cannibal tribe in the glorious world of Kinchi. I have fucking priorities, people. And also, I'm not going to sit there and take care of this bitch that made me sound like a, a gob from Fallout 3. What can I get you, smooth skin? So I made a cannibal tribe. But it wasn't without its setbacks, though. For one, everyone in my group got kidnapped at least once and had to be rescued. The flotsam ninjas that were guarding me got kidnapped and eaten. 
My main guy with the note from Maul got kidnapped and eaten, so the fucking note's gone, along with any assistance from the Flotsam Ninjas. But I did manage to get a little base built and some Master Race skeletons recruited to watch the gates. Skeletons can't be eaten, which is a pretty good perk considering I'm trying to invade a place where everyone gets fucking ate. I realized that there was no way I was going to be able to make a camp in the middle of the Cannibal Plains and just start whooping ass. I needed to step outside the Cannibal Plains, construct a training facility, use that training facility to make a, a hit squad and then slowly make my way in there. Go in once I'm a big badass motherfucker. That's what I'm doing right now. And it's been like a day. I had a whole day of just, I didn't record shit, no dialogue or anything. I was just sitting there sweating at my PC. And now what I've made is this. Wait, (laughs) that's not my town. (laughs) That's not my place. That's a town. My place is over this hill right there. Boom. That's it. Conveniently located just outside the Cannibal Plains. Ooh, speaking of people, looks like we got some future recruits on our hands. Oh my god, they're they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Get in there. Get inside. Inside. Eh, I got skeletons on the crossbows, baby. Ooh, a cannibal pouch. That's pretty cool. Could they have done worse art for this? <laughs> You know what, though? A man that can rock a little purse like that is a guy that I want in my group. Fix him up. Pick him up. And go put him in a cage. It's time. This is the first cannibal recruit I've gotten. You see, I've been, I've been building my people up. But it's they, they've been undesirables. Here she is, baby. Our first legit cannibal recruit. Her name is Brungus, a true cannibal female. Just a couple more of these, and we'll be good to go. This game has always had the strangest, most unusual bullshit happen in it. In fact, I would like to say that the pathing in this game is is some of the weirdest I've ever seen. But why is there a trail of ant (laughs) cannibals going across? Look at this. There's so many. Swimming across this canal. Why not just fucking walk around? This one's male. Okay, all men have to be tiny. They have to be minuscule, tiny little manlet, hunched over, gross. Like that, like they're holding their wieners. Little Trump hands. This may upset you, but that's an ideal body. Sorry, gamers. But you fall down the staircase? Nobody has invaded this town in like days unless she's just been laying here like an idiot. But look, look, this is great. This is great. Look, if I go to trade with her, I have animals for sale. Oh, let me see what, uh, let me see. <coughs> Nothing. Her arms and legs are broken. They all fucking walked away. So she's just. <laughs> wait, a, wait, wait, wait a second. This guy got injured in that fight. Limbs. Ooh. Arm got amputated. Blood's at negative 31. That looks like it hurts. But you know, at the end of the day, um we are a cannibalistic society. There's no there's no time for weakness. You know, there's just no time for weakness. You're gonna have to go onto the acid table. Sorry, dude. Shouldn't have lost that arm, dummy. You'll love it up there. It's fun times. Your sacrifice has gone on to feed the rest of your friends. There's no need to be upset. Thank you. The training center is up. Slowly, one by one, we are bolstering our ranks by the very people we seek to destroy. Soon, soon, we will invade their lands. We will consume their men. And the only thing that'll be left is big, strong, cannibal women. Big, burly women with wide shoulders. Looking like Dave Batista with some tits. Oh my god. 
This is the hottest video I've ever made.